Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and I'm here today to set the world straight about the punk ethos. It seems with each passing year, the real meaning of what it means to be punk gets more and more diluted, and it's outright embarrassing to see some of the things they're giving that label to these days. So let's start with the first big misunderstanding, and that's that punk started in the late 70s with bands like the Ramones and some silly-haired posers from the UK who could barely play their instruments. The fact of the matter is, punk had been around for decades before this time, manifesting itself in a number of different ways. You can find punk as far back as the 1930s, but it's more modern sense you can hear in the late 1960s with groups like the Fugs, the Stooges, and a number of other bands. To go along with that, most people are under the misconception that punk rock is a very specific sound or style. The Velvet Underground were absolutely punk in the fact that they showed no regard for the musical norms of their time, and in that process they created some of the most outright revolutionary experimental music the world has ever heard. Before them, Johnny Cash was a total punk, playing where he wanted, when he wanted, and how he wanted, refusing to compromise anything about himself for the sake of his record label. And even further back than that, one can hear it in the music and you can see it in the photos. The first punk himself, Woody Guthrie. So from country western music, to psychedelic music, to outright experimental music, you can hear punk in every single style ever played. Finally, perhaps the most obvious and outright laughable mistake people make is that they think there's some look that you have to have to be punk. Getting your face pierced in every imaginable way, or making your hair nice and spiky with that gel your mom bought you, makes you no more punk than someone who goes and buys a frying pan and calls themselves a chef. And when it comes to your oh-so-cool torn jeans, those studded wristbands, or that awesome t-shirt you got at Travis Barker's solo tour? Honestly, that's about as far from punk as you can possibly get. You're better off saving your money and getting yourself some real punk music. The reality is, punk rock is not about a certain style of music or a specific period of time, and it's sure as hell not about some stupid hairstyle or some clothing you decide to wear. Punk rock is a mindset. It's a way you live your day-to-day -day life, and anybody who tries to convince you of anything different is just trying to sell you something.